Hi everyone, I'm Shinjinji. Welcome to the sixth episode of the Night Hindu Woods in Unity series. Today we are going to simulate how a 3D world behaves into a 2D camera thanks to parallax script. The first thing to do, like we usually do, is to create the folder structure in which to import the files we need. So go into script in the assets folder and make a new one named parallax. And inside it, import the parallax scripts you'll find in the video description. Since today's episode will be very short, I want to take the time to explain how this script works so that you'll be able to change it based on your needs. So open the scripts into your editor of choice and let's look first at the parallax background script. What this script does is to search for game objects that have a parallax layer component in them, make a list of them and make them subscribe to the delegate in the parallax camera script. This last one will check for the camera movements and once they occur, it will execute the delegate, which in turn will execute the parallax layer move method in each of the subscribed game objects, making them change position accordingly to the amount the camera moved. Back to Unity, the first script that we are going to use is the parallax camera script. This one is in charge of checking if the camera moved and by how much. Go in the hierarchy into the camera's game object, select the main camera and drag the parallax camera script into it. Then we are going to use the parallax background script. This one will retrieve all the game objects in which there is a parallax layer script. You need to place this in the root of nested objects. For example, if you want the houses in the background move, we'll need to place it in the game object that contains it. In this case, the background. The last script we use is the parallax layer script. This one contains the actual method that will move the object in which it is placed. It also contains a parallax factor property, which is by how much that element will be moved. If you run the game now, you'll see that the houses in the background move accordingly to the camera movements. Be aware that placing a parallax background on the root of a game object which contains other nested game objects won't affect them you'll have to place multiple parallax background scripts into nested game objects, like the tree, to be able to retrieve the elements in it. Another thing to keep in mind is that you can't control elements that have a node attached script, because they are bound to the sprite shape they are connected with. So if you want to move them, you'll have to move the sprite shape, in this case, the grass. This is the final result after placing all the scripts and the proper factors which are shown in the video. Let me know if you changed some of them and what effects did you create. This is all for this video, like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when the next episode comes out and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the journey.